Hello Leo. Welcome to the channel. This is Asnoitsha here. For those of you who are returning, thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. And for those of you who are new, welcome. So this is a general love reading, and I'll be looking into the feelings and emotions of the person that you are connecting with on a romantic level, what it is that they're feeling and thinking towards you currently. The deck that I'm using is the Goddess Oracle deck by Amy Sophia Marashinsky. Wow, love. Please keep in mind that I am only channeling through my higher self. I'm not channeling through any spirit guides or any other entities. Okay. So some of you might have been in a relationship, could have been a situationship, could have been simply that you've exchanged glances and you literally have a relationship built on gestures because that does happen. And it's pretty ridiculous. Because nobody speaks up. Very nice cards. I don't want to jinx it. Every time I say it, something negative shows up. But these are the feelings and emotions of your person of interest. There is a possibility that you might also be feeling the same. Um, it could be possible because we do mirror the other person. And we also sometimes pick up on their energy. And so we have the same feelings. Wow. I have not seen something like this in a very long time. Look at these cards. Except this one, which is responsibility, which is kind of a 50-50 card in terms of dark and light, I would say. Um, these cards are absolutely magnificent. They're beautiful. You could see just by the, the color of them, right? They're just happy, happy cards. Yeah, they're very positive. So what I'm seeing here before I even start, this appears to be a relationship, Leo, that may be in that stage of renewal. Either this connection is being renewed or this connection is now being realized that, you know what, we can do something with this connection. There's something here that is quite unique. It's quite new. There's a feeling of renewal, like I said. All right, so here we have love, inspiration, cycles, laughter, responsibility, hearth and home, surrender, creativity, and then we have beauty under the bottom of the deck, the overall arching theme. I'm going to express to you what it is that your person of interest is feeling towards you currently. My dear Leo, I have realized that I do have a special kind of love for you. This love is true, it's pure, and it is unconditional. I am not certain why I feel this way so much, but I know that it lasts and it's been there for a long time. And I don't think it's going to go away. Having you in my life, seeing you, just thinking about you, makes me feel very youthful, vibrant, refreshed. I didn't feel like that before, but now I do. And with you, I realize that you are truly an inspiration to me. You inspire me in so many things, so many things that you do. The world was once black and white. And since you have come into my life, everything has turned into color. Nothing is gray anymore. Nothing is gloomy anymore. You've reawakened certain things in my life that remained dormant. They were quiet. I was sad. I was in a bad place. But you've changed all that. I feel different now. I see things different. 
I feel now that the world smells better, tastes better, sounds better, feels better. And I have this flame on the inside. This flame reignites everything. I simply feel as if I want to do something, something different. I want to make my mark in this world. Over the past few days, weeks, months, I have been obsessing over you, thinking about you, thinking about certain things that have happened. So many things have happened and I can't get those things off of my mind. I can't get you off my mind. There are good things and bad things that have happened in the past. And I do tend to dwell on the bad. I don't want to lose you as a friend. I feel that you are like my best friend. Everything about you makes me happy, makes me cheerful. I do believe that in this connection, it's time for me to take responsibility. Responsibility for the things that I never said that I should have, the things that I never did that I should have done. And I know there are certain things that weigh you down. You have your own burdens. But I also want to take on those burdens myself. I want to be that person that can support you now. That can be there for you. Because I feel with you I am stronger. And therefore I can handle and tackle anything. I do feel that you are my hearth and home. Every time I think of you, I feel warm. Wherever you are, that is where my home is. I can do so many things, so many wrongs, and yet you have always accepted me and wanted me and loved me with open arms. There's so much about you that is compassionate and understanding. And I do admire that. I do love that. In my heart, I feel that I belong to you and you belong to me. I have truly surrendered to you. I have surrendered to you and I feel that in this connection, we have a unique relationship where I have dedicated and given to you, even though you don't know, my mind, my heart, and my body to you. And I do want to create something with you, something that will be long-lasting for the world to see, something that will be beautiful and vibrant, a web of love I would like to weave and have you as the center of my world. But the only problem is, will that stand the test of time? If push comes to shove, if there's an argument, if there's disagreement, will that web fall apart? Overall, I have seen, I have realized that there is so much that has happened. And I never truly admired you, but now I do. I admire you now, not only on the outside, but on the inside as well. You do have, and you are, so very beautiful. There's so much about you that I want to know more. You have this ability of shining light on me and my faults and who I truly am. 
And that's okay. You make me a better person. I see you now as somebody who's very radiant, vibrant. Somebody who has a lot to share, a lot to give. Before, I never thought like this. Now, I admire you on the inside. Your personality, your traits, your charm and your charisma. It is very beautiful. I do feel that in this connection, it will take time for me to open up to you and tell you how I feel and to express to you how I want to take responsibility. Because before it seemed to you that I was unreliable. But I want to be more reliable. All right, Leo. So, it is a very nice connection. Whoever may be resonating with this, and this is a general love reading, not everybody is going to resonate with this. But I hope you do, because it's a very nice reading. Um, there is a lot of introspection that this person is having. They're actually kind of reassessing who you are. Um, and this is because there has been some type of distance between the both of you. And for this reason, it actually gave this person the time to appreciate you, to think about you. Distance is sometimes healthy. Keeping your distance, keeping healthy boundaries, making sure that another person gets a chance to breathe. That's important. All right. Um, some of you might have heard a little beep sound. Don't worry about that. I have my heater on, actually. I had to turn it off. <laughs> That's what that was. Some of you might have heard that it was darn loud. I tried to turn it off, and my goodness. I don't know if the mic caught it. All right. Now, I have here the Lover's Path Tarot. Let's have a look. So, this is any type of plan, not plan, sorry, no. This is any type of obstacle that may have occurred in the first place that made this connection kind of sour. Certain things may have happened. And I'm going to look into the reason why something major may have happened in this connection where it just started to fall apart. All right. So let's have a look. We have here the Seven of Cups and we have the Ace of Staffs. So let's have a look at the Seven of Cups first. Hmm. Oh my, oh my. Oh. So you know how I just told you that some time and some space was needed and it was a good thing? Okay. Well, those cards were more of the present. These cards are reversed. I'm reading the reverse. And it is more about the past. What led up to the situation that you're in now? So let's have a look. We have the Seven of Cups. This talks about choices indecisiveness and fantasy. Here we have a sense of overindulging in thoughts of what the future might have brought. Having a lot of daydreams. That's what this person was doing. They were daydreaming. They knew that a decision needed to be made in order to move forward and to rejoin the world and the practical life, but they didn't. Unfortunately, Leo, what this person was doing is that they were allowing their fantasies to influence how they viewed life. They were projecting onto others instead of seeing things as they truly were. So they were 
really not practical about many things. This is a problem. They did not think realistically. They were not looking at the situation for what it is. They were ignoring it. They were thinking somebody else can take care of it. It was not good. I see that clearly here. This is a problem. This person needed to make a choice. And they didn't. They were very indecisive. And the worst thing is, is that they were living in a fantasy land. Fantasy land meaning they were not realistic, they were not practical. Nothing was built on a strong foundation where you guys could actually have built a proper connection, long-term committed relationship. Now that is a problem. Okay. Let's have a look at the Ace of Staffs. Okay. Ace of Staffs. All right, so in addition to that, because of that, a few other things occurred. Some things here just didn't work out. Now, here we also have the Ace of Staff that's talk that talks about, in the beginning, there may have been a lot of energy in this connection, even with this person. There may have been, this person might have been really, you know, let's do this, let's do that. There might have been a lot of enthusiasm, but then that changed. At some point in time, there was a lack of growth, there was a lack of action, and a sense of creativity was no longer there. The masculine or the yang aspect of life started to fade away from this connection. Here we also have inspiration that was to have turned into action, but that never happened. Now it's interesting they say inspiration here because remember you did have the inspiration card. So this basically means that at that point in time, back then, there was a lack of inspiration. There was a lack of dreams and ambition and growth, and prosperity. But now there is because now the person is on the other side and now they're seeing things in this way that look at what I missed out on, look at what I wasted. I was not real, I was not practical, everything was in fantasy land, I would say yes, 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 but then I never would commit. This could be for scenarios, various, various type of examples. They might have promised you to go on a date and they never showed up. They may have promised you certain things regarding your family, your children, and they didn't pick them up after school, for example. Small, small things may have happened, could be something big too. But here it does show that they are not reliable, they are not practical, they couldn't make decisions, they didn't want to grow, and some of the reasons are because they were not in the right state of mind. In the sense that they had difficulty and they had the need to focus on certain things, they were not able to focus. Usually when somebody is not able to focus, that is simply because they are focusing on something else. They are being distracted by something else or somebody else. So yes, even though you may have thought this person needs to dedicate their time, their energy, their effort to you, definitely something happened here that was taking their energy away from you. This could be because of other people could be related to career matters, health matters, love matters, maybe with somebody else, um, commitment with somebody else, maybe a third party situation. So this is a problem. Um, this has occurred and there is a lack of direction. There's a lack of direction because of this. All right. Now let's have a look at, I have here, the beginner's tarot this is any actions any intentions any plans that this individual may have towards you so these i read upright seven of pentacles and another one came out Ooh, ace of cups very nice we have the king of swords hmm Aha, uh -huh. followed by the Five of Cups. Yeah, 
Oh, good. Oh, my goodness. And then we have the Three of Swords. Wow, that's a lot of heartache and pain. Lots. We have a situation here where this person feels as if they have dedicated a lot of time, energy, and effort into this connection. And they are now waiting for the right time to do what they need to do to reach out, to talk to you, to make things right. We also have here Ace of Cups. In this connection, you will feel and realize that there is a sense of forgiveness. There is a sense of, okay, let's make this happen. There's a sense of reunion. There's going to be some type of an offer that's going to be made to you. There's this intention. There's an intention that may be made. Now, the thing is that this person, for some of you, okay, this person will reach out, but they might not give you 100% of their attention. They might just give you a little bit and then they'll pull back. That's what's going to happen. For others of you, and this person's merely just thinking about this right now. I don't see a lot of action. I see a lot of thinking right now. But remember this, even thinking is action for this person because that thinking will lead to a plan. They will have intention and that will lead to action later on. So here we have the King of Swords. Now, even though they're showing and expressing that they do love you, they're still going to be very cold. It seems like they're cold, but honestly, on the inside, they're soft. They seem a bit rude, a bit rough, maybe a bit mean, difficult to speak to. However, it does indicate this person is also being a bit too critical with certain things. They might also be a bit too practical, even emotionally distant. There might be um, this feeling that you get where they're emotionally distant, but the crazy thing is, on the inside, and remember the first set of cards you had, right? Beautiful cards. They really do love you. They do. They love you so much, but I don't know why this person, they're just not breaking that shell. It is so bloody hard. It's like a dinosaur egg. <laughs> I don't know the shell of a dinosaur egg, but I, I can only imagine it must be thicker than like other eggs. Um, but this is terrible. I, I literally am seeing a di like an egg, cracking an egg but an egg that is very, very thick. Like the shell is really, really thick. You just can't, can't penetrate this person. You can't get into this person's mind. You can't get into their heart. You think that you can't, but believe me, Leo, you already are. You already are. This person just appears and seems in this way, in this manner that, no, 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 I'm cold. I don't need anybody. I don't want anybody. But the truth is, they do have that love for you. And why are they regretting? Why are they feeling sad? Only because they actually have feelings for you. They're only sad because they have something to be sad about. Here we have a situation with the five, situation with the five of cups where this person now feels and realizes that, you know what, I took this person for granted. Great. Now they're not with me. What do I do? They're regretting their actions, certain things that they've done in the past. They don't want things to be like this anymore. They want to they fix things. They don't want this anymore. Here we have a situation where there has been a sense of regret, remorse, a lot of feelings that no longer can be expressed because this person has closed themselves off. There's a lot of regret here. And they're thinking, how can I fix this? But they're not even thinking about that yet. They're going to think about this after they get into the hermit mode. Um, but right now they're literally in the mode of thought where they are thinking, what did I do? Why did I do this? How could I have done this? So there's a lot of regret. There's sadness here. And they're not seeing other opportunities that are being given to them directly. No, they are just literally sulking and absorbing themselves in this negative energy bubble that is all about sadness, all about regret, all about sorrow. And for that reason, yes, three of swords is the overall arching theme, which umbrellas all of these cards. So it umbrellas this. So everything is associated to heartbreak. Some of you, this might be a third party situation, actually. Somebody here, if it's a third party situation, is not able to get the other person. They want the other person, but they are not able to get them. There's a lack of communication. There's a lack of commitment 
if it's a third party situation. And there's regret there too, that this person seemed to be very lovey dovey. But then when reality hit, remember, they were not, they were daydreaming, remember, they were daydreaming, right? This is the problem. They were daydreaming, they did not think practically, how on earth is this connection going to move forward? So for some of you, they were simply just daydreaming. And it was not a third party situation. This person simply was detached emotionally. Now remember, they were showing you that they were detached, right? The energy I'm getting from this person does appear that they have a lot, a lot of love for you, but they are afraid of opening up to you. That's what I'm sensing here with these cards. One day they will get over that fear when there's a bigger fear. Fear is a motivator, isn't it? They have to be afraid of losing you forever. That, Leo, will trigger them. You don't tell them. You don't tell them that you're going to lose me. I'm going to go. I'm packing my bags and I'm going. No, no, no. You don't tell them. You do it in a clever way. You start to distance yourself. You start to fade. You start to pay attention to other things. You start to pick up hobbies. You start spending more time with yourself and getting to know yourself. All of a sudden, boom, this person realizes, oh my God, they don't need me. And then they start to feel a bit insecure. That's when they start running back to you. There you go. All right. Let's have a look at what the angels have to say about this. This is a very serious part here. This was really huge. I felt the energy there. All right. Let's see what Archangels Michael, Raphael, and Gabriel have to say about this connection. Okay, so first card is the strongest. We have here remain positive. Then we have here compromise. Followed by, hmm, no. Compromise, no. Okay. Let's have a look. Hmm, no. Reconsider. up to you yeah okay so this connection um, does have two choices so there's two groups of people out there some of you might want to be with this person and some of you might decide not to be with this person in the future because this person is it's too hard to break that shell it's too difficult why do you have to be with somebody who's not going to open up literally are you going to be begging for them to open up it's hard to let go of people like this but it's important that you do yeah these cards are not so they're more for those of you that really have suffered a lot in this connection because of the type of personality this person has it's different than your personality you appear to be more open more honest more talkative this person is extremely closed off to some degree they could be closed off. I, f I feel that they are qu quite closed off and they know that they have been closed off. All right, we have here, for those of you that want to be with this person, okay, we have here remain positive, which is great. Positivity will get you to places. Now, I do have something called a holy light package. Um, you can go to my website, have a look at that. It is to help you maintain positive energy because it helps you get rid of negative energy if you have negative energy it will not allow positive energy to stay so this way you will be able to maintain that positive energy by getting rid of negative energies from your home around your aura inside of your body now one thing here they are talking about that there will be a compromise but they also want you to reconsider what type of compromise that you're going to have because it might not turn out the way you thought that it would here, if you do want any type of changes, they are saying that it's going to take quite some time, a year from now. And this could be literally many, many months. It doesn't have to be a full year. It could be several months or so. 
At the end of the day, they want you to trust. Trust in a higher level of consciousness. This is the Christ consciousness. Beyond Christ, His Father, God, the Almighty, the one source for all, all beings, the one source in the universe. He has many names. Um, the light, the pure white light. So just believe that good things will happen and you will be able to attract that into your life. Now, I do see here with the unlikely card, it does show that this will unlikely turn out the way that you had thought it would. You may have thought something, but it kind of turned out to be a little different. So just keep that in mind that certain things may have happened and you may have expected certain things to occur in a certain way, but it just turned out slightly opposite. All right. For those of you that just cannot be with this person any longer, we have here, once again, remain positive for your own life. Again, the Holy Light Package is something you can get that will help you get rid of negative energies to maintain positivity. They are telling you that even if you compromise, no, it's better for you to reconsider this compromise because you might end up changing yourself a little too much. Even if you do something in this connection, changes with this particular individual may occur after many, many months, could be a year. Like they're saying, trust in the Christ consciousness, trust in the holy light of God, um, the Almighty in the universe, the source. They're basically telling you unlikely it's going to work out with this person. It's not going to work out with this person and unlikely this person is your person. Unlikely. I have to say, Leo, I am leaning 40. I'm seeing the number 40, okay? I am seeing here 60% of you are not going to be with this person. 40% of you will try. But the average of this reading, I'm seeing numbers right now. Um, there's more of you that are best. It's best for you to not be with this person. And some of you, if you give it a try, give it a try. You never know till you try, right? Um... It's always good to give it your best. But remember, this person's very closed off, and that is a very difficult situation to be in a connection where an individual is very closed off. It's, it's not easy. You can't be and deal with a person like that. Because the entire time you're trying to get them out of their shell, meanwhile, you could be building memories. You know, you see the world moving on, right? All right, Leo, that is your reading. I hope I was able to provide you with some clarity and some guidance in your situation. Uh, do let me know in the comments below if any of this has resonated with you. And I did want to um, just uh, announce that I am still taking on readings, uh, love readings. These are written reports that I have. Specifically, they are in writing. Uh, I Obviously, I email them to you. And um, I do have that open. So if you are interested, you can go to my website. That's www.asnointia.com. And there you'll be able to read the entire details of that particular type of reading. And then hopefully, if you want, um, go through it. If that's something that's suitable, then you can place an order. All right, then. You take care and stay safe. Bye now.